Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about emphysema. In the last video, we spoke about chronic bronchitis, represented by the broccoli on fire. Here, we're going to talk about emphysema, represented by the elephant in the zebra over here. Elephant and zebra for emphysema. So because there's so much involved in this obstructive lung disease, we're not going to have a crazy, insane scene of so much going on. We're going to have it very small and limited, and we're going to explain. We're going to build on that. Just as a brief introduction, in emphysema, the air spaces permanently enlarge, and as a result, people with emphysema typically have difficulty with exhaling, getting the air out, which depends heavily on the lung's ability to recoil. And that's why we have these balloons over here to help us remember the alveoli. And they are exploding to help us remember that this leads to eventual alveolar destruction. So just in terms of diagnosis, emphysema is diagnosed based on enlarged alveoli, whereas chronic bronchitis is diagnosed based on productive cough. Okay, well now let's talk about the findings in emphysema. So an emphysema is going to be a barrel-shaped chest, represented by this barrel-shaped chest over here. Why does that happen? And this happens because of hyperinflation and air trapping of the lungs. Individuals may have an increased anterior-posterior di to diameter, a flattened diaphragm, and an increased lung field lucency. People with emphysema typically experience things like dyspnea, which is shortness of breath, due to the air trapping and diminished gas exchange. So to help counteract this, people sometimes exhale slowly through pursed lips. And for that, we'll give this guy this elephant over here pursed lips, which they... And this helps increase pressure inside the airways and prevent them from collapsing. This way of breathing helps explain the name pink puffers. People with emphysema are described as pink puffers since they are able to oxygenate their blood, but they have to purse their lips to do so. Actually, all this constant energy spent on breathing can even cause weight loss. And hence this guy, this pink guy for pink puffer, who's very skinny over here. Now let's talk about the different types of emphysema. For that, we'll go to the back of the scene over here. So over here we see the century acinar emphysema and the pan acinar emphysema. So in century acinar emphysema, this affects the respiratory bronchioles while sparing the distal alveoli. It's associated with smoking, and it's frequently in the upper lobes. We can help us remember because smoke rises up. Pan acinar alveoli affects the respiratory bronchioles on the alveoli and is associated with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is a protease inhibitor generated in the body to protect against unintended collateral damage from the proteases. But people with a deficiency in this enzyme don't have these protective protease inhibitors and so they end up with damaged air sacs that affects the entire acinus. Pan acinar emphysema typically affects the lower lobes of the lungs. And finally, some lab values. And for that, this is true for both obstructive lung diseases, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. Francesca's RV needs some increased TLC, but it's hard with COPD. Francesca's for FRC, RV for RV, and TLC for TLC. FRC, RV, and TLC are all increased in obstructive lung diseases, such as emphysema and chronic bronchitis, whereas FEV1 and FEV1 over FEZ ratio are going to be decreased. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on emphysema. Take care.